Those of you watching on the live, I need your help. I've got no clue what to stamp. Traditionally, it's One Sheet Wonder Wednesday, so I'm happy to stamp a whole sheet, although I did do that last night, but I'm happy to do it again. Sorry about the... Oh, dear, I cannot get controlled over my Zoom. Oh, my word. Right, look away for a second while I sort this out. Okay, there we go. Right, hello, my lovelies. Just realised that Wendy and I both call you my lovelies. But anyway, I wonder if that's a Welsh thing. I don't know. It might be. So welcome, welcome. If you're watching on the replay, thank you so much. Sorry you can't take part and help me. But I uh, I have an idea for something to do tomorrow, but it's not a one sheet wonder. So I'm wondering, what do you fancy? What do you fancy? If there are any stamp sets you know I have that you'd like to see me use, speak now or forever hold your peace. Um, I can go Christmassy. I can go floral. Uh, what do I have that oh I haven't played with for a while? I have got that um, to a good man, that one that I borrowed off Esther that Jacob used the other day. I have got that. I do have oh I have got Pampered Pets back again, and I do have Free as a Bird. I don't know. Come on, guys. I need some ideas. Tides and trimming. Tides and trimming. I don't have that one, Kathy. Do, um, I've got the seashell one. I was just watching Wendy's as well. Bless her. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Joanna, Valerie, Janine, Christine. Uh, who else has joined us? Sheila, Mary, Linda, Nessa, Janice. Kathy, oh, you just got the new leaf set. Wendy's got that one at the moment. <laughs> Something wild and crazy. Okay. Hi, Sylvia. Uh, something with lots and lots of leaves. Big cats. <laughs> Go wild with the big cats. Christmas background ideas would be a great inspiration. So when you say background ideas, do you... Do you want it very detailed or do you just want ideas for the, the backgrounds? Hello, Margaret. Sheila says no cats. I could use the foliage. Now that would be interesting because uh, I haven't done that yet. Using the foliage to create something kind of Christmassy. That would be a challenge, wouldn't it? If I just grab out the different foliages in here. Now, I sometimes use that as a little bit of a dotage. Is that a leaf as well? No, that's a head. That's just moved. Okay, put that back. Right. Okay, so we've got, got some leaves there. And... So maybe this could be how to use non-Christmas stamps to create a, a Christmas background. That might be interesting. Um, I have got the Christmas season, but then that is a Christmassy background. So let's go for something that's not Christmassy. Very Versailles. And... Oh, what about using in bloom? Something like that. Okay, colours now. While I get the blocks ready. Do you want traditionally traditional Christmas colours or oh yay Louise, that's good news. Excellent. I use the body stripes as grass. Ooh. Ooh. Why is why is Martina holding onto her feet? I, I, this is intriguing. That's all right, Margaret. Don't worry. I knew what you meant. I know what you mean. Sometimes our fingers just do something different from our brains, don't we? Um, that's okay. Um... about clustering some of these wee flowers 
That would be quite nice. Let's see another little one. Pop another little one right in there like that. So sometimes I do this. I make my cust a custom stamp. <sighs> right, I'm going to get my mats ready. Yep. Because I'm using photopolymer stamps, so it's useful to have the mats underneath. So I sense something a little bit delicate about to happen, you know, so maybe some delicate clusters. Did I get a tattoo on my hand? Oh no, this is just to remind me. Oh dear. Is it, I'm going to rub it out. It's to remind me to cause a couple of people. But now I've rubbed it off, I'm going to have to write it on a piece of paper. <laughs> Wendy, can you remember for me? <laughs> no, it's all right. I'll um I'm going to write it on a piece of paper in front of me. There we go, and I can do that afterwards. No, I didn't get a get a tattoo. <laughs> Forever hold your feet. No, hold your peace. <laughs> hold your peace. <laughs> no, it's the you know the wedding vows. Speak now. Forever hold your peace. All your peas. I don't know. You could hold your peas instead. Okay, I'm going to stop whittering and I'm just going to get stamping because that's what you're here for, aren't you, people? My lovely followers, you love it when I stamp. So, has anyone made? Hello, Miss Bonnie. It's okay. I've not even started stamping, so you're okay. You're okay. Traditional cherry cobbler evening evergreen. Oh, I haven't used evening evergreen so much for stamping. Christmas yet so let's do that okay hold on, hold on right I'm gonna actually start no I'm not gonna start with evening evergreen because it's such a dark color that if I get it wrong you'll know about it so let's go with a bit of just jade to start off with and I'm going to do um mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so I'm just having a little think, you know, I do have to do that from time to time. Just take take it all in, figure out what I'm doing. I think what I'm going to do is go for clusters. So that's, so we're going to go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Right, that's what we're going to do, I think, I think, I think. It will, sometimes... Sometimes I have to change my mind depending if I've not accounted for the size very well. So let's see if this will. We'll see how it goes as usual. So the idea is that I'm going to have a little cluster of flowers with these leaves kind of doing something. Mm -mm. Okay. So again, you can you can have a bit of an idea, but then you, it's okay to change your mind if if the leaves or the whatever you're stamping with, if you're not feeling it, or if you're thinking, oh yeah, no, I I misjudged the shape or the size of something. It's okay to change your mind. You know, just go go with the flow, as they say. So, is Phoebe okay? Um, she's doing really well. She had COVID, Janine. But she and she spent just some days in hospital, but she is now out and is doing really well. Deborah Mitchum um, had some treatment this morning. She's got COVID as well. Um, I think we're, and Louise is currently in hospital waiting surgery. And that's why she's able to say hello to us today, because she's in her hospital bed right now. So there we go. Um, and then... Um, we also had sad news from Cheryl Adams. Her husband passed away about a month ago. So if anyone wants to send them a card. Um, now, please be aware, I am only sharing news that has already been publicly shared. Okay. It's, um, these folks have shared these things publicly. So... Hi, Gigi. Right, I don't know. I've, I've just sensed I need to pull out a different green here. So I've pulled this one out. This is soft sea foam. 
because I just felt like I needed something else in the car. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that green in there. As usual, I'm, I'm not feeling it yet, but I know it will be okay. It should be okay. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, we didn't know until she was nearly out of hospital. Yeah. Okay. Oh, see, this is a stage where I think, oh, have I made one big mistake? But anyway, just keep stamping. Just keep stamping. I need to get some colour on here. I think once I get the red on, I'll be much happier. Now, I'm thinking I'm actually going to stamp, first of all, in a lighter red than Cherry Cobbler. I might go for real red. And that, because I want the centres to be darker. Yeah, I don't know if Cheryl's on here. Oh, is she on here? Oh, you are on here. Oh, hi, lovely. Good, good, good. It always feels a bit odd to give people, uh, give news about people who may not be watching. <laughs> so I try and be very careful what I say. Right, so, ooh, liking that little cluster there. Now, the reason I clustered these, well, I feel like I should have a bit of green showing here. I don't think there would be any more red, but there probably would be a bit of the green just showing there and there. Okay. Right, so the reason I clustered these like so is because I had a cunning plan. I'm going to remove these and then I'm going to use some of the smaller ones to be the centres for these. So, I'm going to have another quick look at what I have here. I think, well, what could I put? So, that one could go in the middle of that. Or maybe that one. Hmm, maybe that one. That one there, that one there, and then we've got these t this tiny one here. And that super tiny one there. Can you see what I'm doing? Anyone see what I'm doing? Okay, then I'm going to take these off this block. and then I'm going to pick that up like so now I'm going to get my cherry cobbler out and then just can't remember which, which way round I did it like so. There we go. Okay. Now we're cooking, as they say. Yay! Uh, oh, oh, that's the other direction. Okay, let's figure this one out. So, ta -da. Now, you see, I'm regretting not doing the flowers first. But, hey-ho. That's just the way it is. I can always add more flowers, actually. Hi, okay. Lovely to see you. Okay, there we go. We've missed you, okay. Right. Ta da! <laughs> Hi Wanda, leaves look like pi pineapple top fronds. Oh, I suppose you can have pineapple at Christmas. Why not, hey? 
Okay, I'm going to leave those there for a second. Now, I think we need to get some little leaves tucked in here and there. And I'm wondering whether now to go for the evening evergreen. I feel like I need more texture. Oh, I need more texture. There's, there's an, oh, I've missed one out there. Oh, Ruth. Ruth. That's terrible. Okay, let's just get that sorted out, eh? Probably would be one coming on from there. And one probably sneaking its way up from here as well. Okay, I'm still not feeling it, guys. Still not feeling it. But we're going to keep going because that's what we do on this channel. So I feel like we need some sort of softer kind of flowery background. Hmm. I wonder if delicate dahlias would be a good one to that little flower there. Just sort of like in the background. I don't want it really obvious. What about a crumb cake or a just like something off off whitish? I'm going for Sahara sand here because that's what I picked up. Just need something in the background so it doesn't look so kind of sparse. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's better, although it's starting to pick up the pink a bit. Oh, dear, I did that one already. Okay, 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 okay. It does a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe we'll just change tune. We'll just go, no, it's not Christmas, unless it's Christmas in the Caribbean. Could do it that way. Um, right. Now, do you think it's time for the evening evergreen? I think it might be. I think this could be the moment for evening evergreen to shine. Hi, you're back, Mary. Hello, Mary. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so... Ooh, ooh, so rich. Did you see that? Did you see that? And what's nice about this little leaf design is that, look, it fits in between the flowers. I'm liking that. You can always, and it's dark enough to stamp on top of that just jade. Okay, I'm just going to stamp a couple there. Okay, let's get it. Let's see if I can get in a bit closer for you. Oh, just move my light out of the way. There we go. Hmm. Bring in the big cats. <laughs> oh, I don't have that set, would you believe, Jeanette? Yeah. Partly because, if I'm being brutally honest, it's the pineapple that turns me off. Um, now, the thing is, I love to eat pineapple, you know, delicious. But the idea of stamping a pineapple just does not do anything for me. However, in that set, there's a lovely flower. I love the frangipani. And... Oh, or is it the palm trees in that set? I don't like either. But, you know, I could be persuaded. You guys are so generous and you give me, you know, PayPal donations for me to buy stamps. So it's good sometimes for me to go outside of my comfort zone and, and pick up something that I, you know, wouldn't normally stamp with. So, you know, you never know. It might fall into my basket.
Hi, Glenna. Ah, uh, is that why you like it? Okay, fair enough, Jeanette. So Jeanette's saying she loves the word aloha and she likes the pineapple. You love watching the one sheet wonders come together. I know, me too. <laughs> Especially when I didn't really have a plan. Because I feel like if I if I don't deliver, I've wasted, you know, <laughs> an hour of your time. <laughs> okay, right. It's getting there, it's getting there. It's coming together. So this is one of my favourite leaves at the moment. I'm just going to pull out a little bit so that you can see it all together. And I think I am going to do this in the evening evergreen because I can do second generation like that. It's so Yellow dotage, you think yellow dotage, okay. We'll see, we'll have a look once we get this element in. This leaf is just so beautiful. Okay, so I'm doing first and second generationals. And I'm not I'm not kind of thinking, oh, I've got to do it exactly in the same spot each time. I'm just going with where it feels kind of like it's got a space. And that's what we need to put in there. So it's not about perfection. It's just about creating something beautiful. Oh, loving the evening evergreen against that red. And even against this Just Jade. So the Just Jade is kind of a bluey green. And evening evergreen, I guess, is, is slightly towards a bluey green, but it's very much got a lot of black in it. So it's very dark. So it's a good alternate, alternative colour for stamping a sentiment. If you don't always like to stamp it in black or brown or whatever, it's fabulous. Hello, Denise Willerton. Welcome. Oh, I've ended up putting a few more in than I anticipated, but that's okay. I've got a little boo-boo there, so I'm just going to cover it up by putting a leaf coming on. <laughs> I need to do one this side as well. Loving that. It does, yes. Soft succulent and evening evergreen. I like. It's kind of like old, older sibling, older sibling, younger sibling. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I see that one. Okay, so I haven't yet used the little. These are the little cheetah markings. But what I love using them for is creating little flowers by stamping it a few times. What set is that stamp from? This leaf one is from Wild Cats Candy. Lovely to see you, by the way. 
There we go. And there it is there. Okay. So now I'm about to use this one. So we're going to ink it up and then I'm going to stamp it and then I'm going to twist and stamp like so to make like a cluster of little like flower heads. Okay, you feeling that guys? What do you think? Sheila, is that okay? I haven't done the cats. <laughs> I'll just use the cat stamps. Of course you can case it, please do. And we'd love to see what you create. If you, if you had to have Artful Stamping Space on Facebook, I'd love to see whatever you guys make after watching me create. Oh, just a, a, a reminder, if you do, if those of you who are already in Artful Stamping Space, and if you invite friends to come and join, please let them know that you've invited them because they do not automatically get allowed into the group just because you invited them. They need to answer some security questions. So just to let you know that, because it might be that you have told them and they're going, oh, but I'm not in the group yet. And they probably not realise they actually have to go and visit the group themselves. And then they need to um, answer the questions. But thank you, Kay. Yeah, Artful Stamping Space on Facebook. So there's just a few little rules on there. Please, no link sharing. If you've got something you'd like to share in the group that you think might be useful, email me, message me, snail mail me, whatever. And if I think it's appropriate, I'll put it on there. Um, what else? Basically, if you post something, please post a picture. Um, and then there is, oh, I've got to set up the September chat area. I usually do a monthly chat area where you can just put questions or chat or whatever in there. I think these little flowers remind me of like massive hydrangea heads. That's why I love it so much. Don't like the cats, but may have to buy this set for the foliage. <laughs> you know, you know, Paula, yes. Although the cats are super fun and I have had fun creating with the cats I think I really like them because they're, they're quite realistic so they're not just kind of any old cat so I do like that okay um hmm, I'm wondering whether to go in with oh that little stamp but in some cherry cobbler just for an added bit of texture or, ooh, there's that really tiny, tiny, tiny little one. Oh, I think I might go in with that one. Now, the thing about stamping with these really tiny stamps, you have to be very careful when you ink them up. A cat peeking out the leaves, yes. <laughs> yes, if it wasn't a Christmas one, yes. Oh, I love that. Um, Bonnie's husband entered the one of the, well, the men's card division in the virtual summer fair and he did this did this gorgeous card with a fox peeking out oh it's so cute very very cute so i'm just sort of stamping three roughly together one two three like so one two three because i find that if you cluster flowers they're sort of they're seen a bit better than if you just sort of blob them. He'd have to have a Christmas tie around his neck. Yes, that would be funny. Right. Da -da 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 -da. And 
some there. So this is a great way to kind of balance out, to br bring the red out a little bit more. I may even just stamp another bit of red in the centre of these flowers just to darken up those areas a bit more. Okay, so actually I'm wondering if I stamped in green over the top of there. I'm regretting, so if I was to do this again, or if you have a go doing this, I would suggest you stamp the flowers first, then stamp the foliage because I don't like how the foliage interferes too much with the, the flower. So if I was to do this again, that is what I would do. So if you watch this and you want to have a go, have a go doing it that way. Yes, absolutely, Denise. Yeah. So a lot of my the rules that I follow when creating these sort of sheets are the same rules that you would follow as a gardener, as a flower arranger, even interior designer. OK, so I do beg, borrow, steal from other artistic traditions, creative traditions. OK. Right. I'm thinking just a little bit of dotage and that will finish it off. Um, let's have a think. I don't, I don't want to think too big. I'm wondering whether to use the one from Forever Fern. Because it's quite small. And I can kind of control it a bit better. Oh, I'm going to put my cardigan on. It's quite cool here. I well, know we're into September, but it's been sort of quite a cloudy day here in Wales. So I'm talking to you on the 1st of September. And uh, it feels like we haven't really had a proper summer. Like we had some really lovely days at the beginning of August and the odd nice day. But I am hoping that September will be a little bit sunnier. But Right, I'm wondering whether to build up with a little bit of this pale green or, like someone said, about bringing in yellow. So, what do you think? Yes to yellow or not? Oh, masks. Yeah, I'm not sure about masks. Hmm, mm, 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 mm. It's getting warm with you, is it, Jeanette? Ah. Yellow. I know. Where's Esther when you need her? I think Esther's actually getting an early night because um, she was back at work today. Right. A little bit of bumblebee to warm things up. I think so. Or even pale papaya. What do you think? A green with lots of yellow in it yeah that would really zing it up but it would take Christmas in a different direction it would yeah not be so traditional looking that's what would happen if I did that <laughs> this stamp is starting to lose its sticky Okay, if that happens, guys, you can purchase more sticky stuff. Um, no, I need to take, take the top layer off. That's the super... Yeah, that's the super sticky side. Oh, it's attached. Okay. I'm just going to stick that over the top. Let's get my scissors. Oh, you guys in Tornado Watch. Oh, man. I've just seen some pictures, actually. Because I have friends on Facebook in all parts of the world. I messaged Susan Lavassa actually, you know Wow Nola Creations, if anyone follows her she's okay, but, you know the house is a bit of a 
state, she said, but they're all safe. So yeah, no thinking of you guys. Tornado area. Oh, Jeanette, it's called um hold on. Or you can use the, le the leftover sheets from when you get new stamp sets. That's the other option. Oh, sorry. Glitch. It is called... Sorry, I'm just trying to find it. No, it's not there. Oh, if anyone knows where it is. Let me know. <laughs> oh, do, do, do. Hold on. Oh, da, da, da. I wonder if it's with the blocks. I think it was with the blocks. Nope. It's not with the blocks. Okay. Is it with these? Nope. Is it with. Nope, it's not with the adhesive sheets. Okay. Anyone know where it is? Oh, it's with the adhesives. 13. Adhesive sheets. Uh, 152334 on page 167. It's in the adhesive section. This one here. Okay. Right. Let's do some dotage. Now I've got my sticky stamp back again. And just gonna add it. I'm not kind of doing all over, I'm just picking areas that I feel that might need it. And as you can see, I'm kind of stamping and then twisting and stamping again, using up all that ink that's on here. Just so one ink. Stamp, stamp, stamp. This is ever so pretty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm saying it like I'm surprised. But I am surprised because I really didn't like it to start off with. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Story of my life. <laughs> Oh, I was watching uh, the Disney animation Aladdin last night. And one of my favourite lines is that parrot. And he says, why am I not surprised? I often say it in my head, that phrase. You know, when you see something and you think, yeah, that's bound to happen. You know, I could see that coming. In my head, I do the, why am I not surprised? And then I use it on myself too. Or maybe why am I surprised? There we go. Right. Oh, is he Bonnie? Oh, bless him. Yes. Yes. I guess they need all sorts of people on the disaster relief stuff. Like, you know, like engineers, doctors, nurses, builders, plumbers, sewage people. You know, I can... Oh, my goodness. It must be such a massive job. Hello, Phoebe. Besitos. Right, I'm thinking we do need a little bit of dark green dotage as well. Or do we? Is that too much? What do you think? Oh, I might have to test it out on one area. Okay, I'm just going to be very sparse with it. I'm not going to overdo it. There we go. Three areas. I do quite.
quite enjoy doing two different coloured dotages. Why not, hey? If you're going to do it, do it. I didn't say... Did I say hello to you, Lorraine? Sorry if I didn't. Hello. Who have I not said hello to? Please shout now. Hi, Christine. Your relief team has chaplains. Oh, quite right. Yeah. No, it's, I'm sure it's a time where people need some spiritual guidance and help. It's good. Never too much dotage. Never, never, never in Glenna's world. <laughs> right, I think I'm going to stop there. So I've forgotten this little area down here. Right. Voila. Très bien. You like the contrast. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm afraid I haven't got any cards out. I'm, um, I had one of those days today where I felt just really tired. Partly hormonal, but um, I'm just had a busy few days but, um, I'm hoping to be a bit more back on track tomorrow me, 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 booth. <laughs> hello Glenna <laughs> right I'm going to stop there so let's go over the colours then although it, you know feel free to mix and match and do something else so we use soft sea foam just jade and evening evergreen those are the three greens we used mainly real red and cherry cobbler with a little bit of the bumblebee very similar actually colors well i say similar yellow red green to the video i released at six o'clock this evening it was a stamp around uk vlog hop so if you haven't seen that yet do go and check that out later and Sahara Sand as my kind of beigey background that I did. So those are the colours. Then I used a bit of Fairy Versailles. Oh, now I could do a bit of script. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Do I? Do I not? Uh, we definitely used In Bloom. So if you didn't catch how I did the layout of the flowers, please do rewind and check that out because oh, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you rewind it. Little special trick, basically, to get things aligned. Wild cats, we use that foliage, that foliage, that one, and we use the cheetah little spots to make little, little kind of puffs of flower heads. And then this one. Now, you can use anything you want, really. You don't have to use this stamp set. But just to put, I felt that I needed something beige behind the red flowers because it was looking, the contrast was too high with the vanilla. So I used that just to pop some Sahara sand. But you don't. You can use anything you want. You don't have to use this. So the main ones were In Bloom, Wild Cats, and then a bit of very Versailles leaf, leafage. But again, if you've got something else, or you could stamp this leaf, but in a paler green, if you didn't have very Versailles. All right. What's the difference between a nosegay and a posy? Um, yeah, and I, th I thought as well, Bonnie, weren't nosegays specifically a bit like a tussy mussy to sniff? Um, you would have it, hold it near your your face so it, it was when obviously streets weren't cleaned and sewer, sewers were open and you know towns would stink uh in order not to faint from the smell you'd have little bunches of flowers that you would sniff so i don't know if nosegay and tussy mussies are kind of similar and then um uh, yes so yeah we have corsages so that can be worn on the wrist or the um, handbag. I don't know. I don't know if you you call them something different in America. Uh, 
Thank you, Miss K. Yes, please do email me, ruthtrice at gmail.com if you have any questions about the products we, I've used, if you'd like to order some. So the products are available in the UK, France, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. I'm afraid if you're outside of those regions, you can order them unless you have a good friend in, in that region and who, who's happy to order it for you. Um, now, when I say order it for you, I mean, they need to order it and get it sent to their address. OK, Stampin' Up! will only send products to those countries. OK, so you can't just because you can go online, it doesn't mean you, you can order to wherever you are. So um, also, what do I need to tell you? Celebration is still happening. So if you want to earn some free product, this stamp set is available with a £90 or €120 Euro spend. And if you want to save even more money, if you'd like to sign up, it costs £99. You get £130 of product and you can get to choose a bundle out of the mini catalogue. So if you're somebody who still hasn't had a catalogue from me for some reason, um, you um, just message me again with trice at gmail.com. Um, oh, Cheryl. Your mum just went home from the nursing home. Oh. Right. Lots of love to you all. As always, I know that some of you are hurting right now and, you know, going through some really tough times. So um, lots of love to you all. And take care of each other and those around you make a difference be the difference you know where you can but don't be afraid to ask for help as well if you need it because that's important so thank you all so much for joining me i am gonna go now because um as i said i'm feeling a little bit weary and my my head is a little bit hoo -hoo. but um i'm looking forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow god willing and um Oh, and I need to decide. Ah, okay. While you guys are on here, I'm I need to decide when to do the Friday Zoom for the announcement of the different winners of the virtual summer fair. So if you're watching this in the future, it, this won't make any sense to you. So for I would like to be able to include the Australians and the New Zealanders in this. So what what time when would be too early? If you wanted to join in, um, hug your people. Oh, I love that, Phoebe. Yes, yes, thank you, Kay. Um, have we got anyone in the South Pacific on here at the moment? Because I'm wondering whether to do eight o'clock or maybe nine o'clock my time. Yeah, that's easy for you to say, Linda, because, um, so it's currently 8 a.m. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't think I could do it that late, Jeanette. I'm really sorry. I was thinking 9 o'clock my time, so that would be, oh, gosh, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock in the morning, Jeanette. Oh, Lindy, are you in the same area as Jeanette? Yeah, you yeah, the Ameri you guys in the western part of the world, you're fine because you're 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 behind me, but I'm thinking the Australians and New Zealanders, it'll be really early in the morning. Thank you, Cheryl. Um I'll have a chat to my husband. We we ten o'clock um I mean, possibly we could. I mean, it's not going to be too long. I mean, we could have a bit of. Um... Oh, really, Jeanette? Oh, OK. OK, I'll have a chat to Tom and see if I mean, it might be 10 o'clock might be all right. But what we could do is just socialise for a bit before, you know, just let's just kind of hang out. So I could start the Zoom at nine o'clock my time and then just hang out for an hour. And then at 10 o'clock, we'll announce the winners.
Yes, I can't do Saturday morning, I'm afraid. I'm doing a, a fundraiser. Yeah. I've got to be somewhere. I'll be serving tea and coffee or selling cards or selling stuff at that time in the morning, I'm afraid. I'm sorry about that. This is just purely to announce the winners. It's not a full-on Zoom event. So it's just to announce the winners. So, you know, I will put the winners up on the um, Facebook group anyway. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, South Pacific. Oh, for you, Cheryl, it will be PM for you. It will be my, it will be my 10 PM. So it will be your... 6 p.m. I guess 6 7 8 9 oh no 5 5 p.m. are you five hours behind me Cheryl Adams yeah so Denise Willerton it's five 12 minutes past oh Cheryl Adams it's 10 past six with you six seven eight nine ten oh you're five hours behind me okay yeah you're fine oh and you've all got to wear a hat forgot about that yes please wear a nice hat <laughs> okay lots of love sorry i've had to hang about just to discuss that with you um but please remember to give me a thumbs up on the way out i really do appreciate your sharing the videos about with people and um and we'll see you all soon i could i could tape the zoom that's the other option i can record the zoom and then put the zoom up on facebook uh, sorry, I can, yeah, I can create a video and put that up. So I could do that and not announce the winners um, until, say, Sunday on the Facebook group so that you guys can watch the video if you want to join in that way. Yes, that's what we'll do. OK, that is what we'll do. Right. Don't know why I didn't think of that before. Right. Lots of love to you all. God bless. See you. Bye. Thumbs up, please. Thank you.